Welcome back to Sumster Games, the place to find new strategy games, and have you ever wanted to create your very own species and then watch it evolve or die? Well, we can do that today. Notice this little animal hiding in the back. Alright, so you've already played this game. This game is an early access. It's a game where you create your own species like animals or flowers and you watch them evolve. Now they have a brand new update called the flower update, which as the name suggests give you flowers. So we are going to we're gonna be playing sandbox. And we're going to create first our flower. So the way this works is that you can kind of adjust how the flower works. So we can make it for example super tall. Oh, actually, we can't make it any taller. Come on. Okay, this is the tallest it can be, apparently. You can also make it like thick or thin, however much you like. So we're gonna make it, yeah, super thick on the top and the bottom. Kind of very super thin in the middle, just to make it look as weird as possible. That's my entire goal for this. All right, and then we're going to place some fruit. You need to have some fruit so that it can grow. Okay, so we're gonna place one. Where do you want the fruit to go? We'll put it on the... I mean, we'll put it on the top. Why not? That looks kind of okay. We'll have two, we'll have like four in every direction, kind of like the top is covered in fruit. And then, come on, go this way. Good. So we've got our, our fruit on top. Then we're going to add some leaves to give it energy. Now when you hover over the leaf, you can see how much sun it's going to cut, how much wind resistance it has, and what kind of temperature it can handle. So in the sandbox, the way the map usually works is that you kind of like range the wind and the temperature so that you're gonna see once they kind of place the flowers like where they actually go and they're gonna move to the area where it's the best for them i think we're gonna give them like a high wind resistance which is this thing yeah let's do it let's let's get something that's a really good wind resistance we'll put the leaves on the bottom and we're gonna have like a very few leaves i'm thinking like Oh, actually, do we want to? Yeah, let's let's go with like four leaves total. Not not much in the in the leaf department, you know. It just it gotta get that thing in the bone. Ooh, we're planning to still need more water. It's gonna have to put more roots later. But next, we're gonna place some flowers. We could also have like these um, branches, essentially. Ooh, this looks cool. Now it looks like an animal. And we should put the flowers in here to make it look like eyes or one eye, really. Ooh, I like that. That looks pretty cool. <laughs> Now, when you hover over the flowers, you can see whether it's wind or animal pollination, number of pollen, and travel distance. I think we're going to go with animal pollination because I love making animals. So we're going to put something... Well, this is a pretty interesting uh, temperature resistance for like hot flowers. Oh, it goes like this. I was kind of hoping just like... Okay, so each of these has this little... Stem, I guess is the right word. I was kind of hoping to just like plop it here to, to make it look like an eye, but you can't do that. But we could give him like to the side to make it look, look like ears, maybe. That look, that would look okay, actually. Yeah, let's put these ones on the side. This one's at the wrong place, actually. Can I not remove it? To put it there. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay, we've got ears, we've got, there's no eye here, but that's okay. Yeah, I, I like this flower a lot. <laughs> this is a great flower. Now, we don't have enough water because the the flower is too large, so we gotta put a little bit more of these roots. Okay, now it's ready. I'm kind of okay with that. We could also add some traits. For example, you could add the bark, what type of bark you have. Then you can change the color. For example, we could make it... Uh, could make make the flowers like dark blue and you could also make them bioluminescent so if you check it in the dark they're gonna be shining like this oh i like that a lot all right so this is gonna be a very very beautiful first flower we're also going to put in some animals because i like them now we're gonna place some kind of all over the place and we're gonna see we're gonna put some in the water as well and let me just move around a little bit. Here's some near the rocks over there and just kind of, like I said, everywhere. And what we want to do is we want to find out, we're going to click ready. And I want to show you the temperatures and things like that. So if you look at temperature, you can see that up here we've got like plus 50 degrees and then 
down here we've got like minus 24 so this is kind of like the range so we're gonna see where the flowers grow the best and then we can also check like wind strength again it's it seems here near the water there's a really high wind otherwise it's kind of okay it's actually not that um it doesn't differ as much as i thought it would but it's okay you can see that they're doing pretty well here near near the water seem to be doing very very well they've got these oh they look so good aren't they super free all right but now it's time to make some animals because you know having plants is great but and I, I do admit that this update is mostly about flowers but i do love making me some animals so first of all i'm gonna have kind of like a uh maybe like a like a kind of like a dinosaur that i guess uh well maybe more like hands something that looks like hands let's put this up on top sure you could also oh okay so so one thing to, to keep in mind though okay let's let's change that you know what let's, let's just make a new one uh, you have to keep um attention to where is the front of the animal so this is this is where they're looking at and then you can make extend them here on the other side is that not working this could be interesting we've got like a little bit of a tail we'll give them legs here do we want to give them sure let's give them four legs and then up on the front we're gonna give them like a mouth and with the mouth again you can choose whether they eat nectar plants meat or whatever i'm gonna give them this to eat a nectar because i think it's pretty cool and then we also want to give them some sort of eyes like uh, you can see like the seeing or seeing range Ooh, that looks pretty cool i like it I like it a lot. You can also give them instincts, just interesting. For example, to sell that, like, hey, if you see a light in the dark, go towards it because we know that the flowers um, glow. Now, at the moment, this guy is deaf, so you might want to give him some ears. But where? Ooh, this is interesting. Like right behind the eyes. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. That looks pretty nice. Could also change the color, I believe. Make let's make him uh, blue, so it kind of like fades into the water, I guess. Could also make the animals um, bioluminescent, which is very very cool. It only eats nectar. It doesn't get much energy for one meal, so it's gonna need to eat a lot. And we'll try to put it wherever we've got the flowers. So we're gonna put it there and there, and we'll put two in each direction now i'm gonna build another animal because i want to have like nice animal competition so we've got the zalo this is our new species then we're gonna get one more species of animals that's going to look a little bit different and we're gonna do like uh, gonna move in time and we're gonna see how much they evolve so we're gonna pick one that has a lot of eyes i want something that's got like a gazillion of eyes yeah, we could have like eyes on the side and on the top okay so we got oh this looks interesting four eyes then how many legs let's let's make it longer a bit bigger thinner here we kind of want it straight i'm gonna put these like tiny tiny legs here good we've got four eyes legs and we're gonna give it the mouth to eat uh, we're gonna allow it to eat plants i think ants and plants and nectar could we put it somewhere here in the front nice doesn't get much energy from one meal either but that's okay this is gonna be our second now we're gonna say again if you see light in the dark then go towards it okay we're gonna make this new species this is gonna be our second species called talcine put uh, we'll put also four of these actually five of these all, all around they have a bit of an advantage but i didn't put them as close to the flower so we'll see now we're gonna allow random mutations on and we're gonna jump Actually, before we jump, I first want to show you. So you can see this beautiful animal here. You can also see how hungry they are. going to start moving around towards the flowers to eat stuff. And you can also follow them if you wanted to. They look super pretty. I like them. And let's check our other animal over here. Talcine. Alright. So who do you think we're going to have more of? Talcine or our other species? Zolo. Let's see. So we put the uh, mutations on, right? Yeah. And we're going to jump 300 years. And we're going to see how the whole world looks like. We got to wait wait a moment. Whoa. Okay. So we see that our flowers mutated. 
they changed in color. So what you can do is you can either look like this or you can go here into the setup and you can see the changes. So we could, for example, order, actually it's already all, all ordered by the amount of how much of specific flower we've got. So we've got this Melgea here, which is the original that we had. Zolo, we have 66 Zolo, only one Talson. So Talson's really died out. That's interesting. I guess maybe they're too slow to move around or something. And we have a first mutation of the Melga, which is a Mumgaka, which it just really changes color. Like it's more like a barkish um, skin, I guess. Well, it's not skin if it's not a plant, but you get it. Valini is just a little, more, little bit brighter. I think it's because we told these animals that they should go towards things that glow in the dark. I don't really know how much it helps them that they're lighter because if you think about it yeah because the plants need animals to eat the fruit so that they can spread it around so presumably the fact that they're lighter is helping the animals to possibly find them so there's only one alive so we'll see oh and we changed the color of the flowers here that's really really nice 26 of these okay so it's apparently not ordered okay okay i apologize now it's properly ordered Vavutum. 240 years old. So this is actually a mutation of the original. How is it mutated? I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure what's the difference between this and the original. I can't quite like immediately see it, but yeah. But it it, it is changed, so you know. Pea pie. Looks pretty cool. And I love here. Here we've got a bit more flowers and actually changed the color a bit, so that's pretty cool. Alright. And we've got here our beautiful, beautiful Zalos. Now I'm excited just to show it to you what it looks like when it's when it's dark because they're gonna all glow. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually create a predator for the Zolo and I'm going to make him glow. Yes, I'm gonna do that because I think I think it's pretty cool because it's going to make it so that uh, they. Um, you know, the animals are going to kind of go towards it. So we're going to give him some nice legs in the front and in the back. Okay. Then we're going to give him eyes. Where? Let's first do the mouth. You want to give him a mouth that only eats meat. Which one though? These two are options. Let's do this one. Make it like very predatory. The eyes, what kind of eyes? Interesting to have like eyes in the back. Let's let's give him eyes like this. They look pretty interesting. And then ears. Maybe. Not really those kinds of ears, maybe something else. We do like this. Having ears in the middle of the body is pretty interesting. Let's do that. Also, we might want to have like a little bit of a tail. Make it, uh, can make it thinner though. So we gotta stick to it like this. Also, I would like to give you, a, I'm gonna give you the, the luminescence parts now because I want to make sure that you glow. How much do would we want them to glow? I think we want them to glow a lot. We're gonna have them like a really glowy tail. Yeah, we could put some on the sides. Could we put one on the bottom as well? No, it doesn't seem like it. So let's let's give them also like a glowy things here on the sides and maybe one on top. This is like a super glowy animal. And we definitely want that because it should attract the other animals to move towards and he can just like quickly turn around and eat them or something. We'll make you also blue, so it's going to look a bit more like the like the flowers. And we're going to give him an instinct that if he sees, no, if he hears, when he hears, you can put a noise of existing species. So we're going to put it like, if you see the Zolo, you need to go towards it. Okay. Okay, let's, let's do that. Let's do that. I, I'm, I, I'm really curious whether they're going to decimate the other kind or not. And we'll put four of them, I'm thinking. Seems like a good number. Now let's go with... Uh, oh, they all, I forgot that they're also blue, so it's going to be a bit more difficult to see. But they, they move a bit differently. Let's click ready and let's kind of watch them. Xaru. So Xaru versus Zolo it is now. And you can watch them move around. 
Kind of interesting. I was kind of hoping to see them eat somebody though. Don't seem to be moving that much. You could also speed up the time here on the bottom if you wanted to. But I think what we're gonna do instead, we're gonna jump another 300 years and see how do mutations change the world. Okay. Don't see many of the predators. Do we even have any of the predators still alive? Let's, let's check it. Let's again order it by amount of existing species. We got 65 Zolo, so we didn't lose almost any of the Zolos. Ooh, the Varun has a lot of flowers now. Yeah, I think I think our predators are kind of dead. Oh, there's three of them alive. Very, uh, and it's actually Shover, so this is a mutation. Oh, no, 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 no. This is a mutation of the... Um, of, the of the vegetarians, of those that eat plants. They have, they have an interesting tail here in the back. I like them. I like them a lot. Oh, and Veerpert. So they only have two legs now. Also interesting. So it seems like the, tal the one Talson is still alive. It's kind of holding the fort now. But what about, what about my... Um, my predators? Are they just like gone? Where are you? Yeah, they just died out. So let's put a few more. See if maybe we're gonna give like... 10 of them? And see if they can get a little bit better this time around. I'd also like to show you off what it looks like in the dark. So we're gonna speed up the time till we can see like night. I seem to want to show us. Oh, and look at this. This is a baby. Ah, oh, that's a baby. What species is it? This baby. Oh, it's the Zolo baby. Ooh, it looks so pretty. I love it. Hello, baby. Oh, and this guy over here, he looks kind of epic as well. That's not the Zolo. No, they've got these. Oh, that's the Zolo? Did I give them double ears? I thought I only gave them one set of ears. Because this guy doesn't have the second set of ears. So this should be a... This is like a, like a mutation on the original. I was really hoping I'd be able to show you the, the night, but it doesn't seem to be night. Oh, it's going to be night soon, though. You can see that these things are glowing now. Very, very nice. But our predators are doing a terrible job. Like, you would think that they would be able to survive. Like, I gave them so many other animals that you can eat, but they're like, no. Maybe the other animals are too big for them. Yeah, I don't see... You still got that one Telsin. Like, how old are you, man? 984 years old. Still that one guy. Like, he just survives forever, apparently. And none of the predators again. But the zones are really holding on. Let's, let's check it again. I'll check just the animals this time. Yeah, and ordered by amount. Yeah, Zolo, three Xarus, and two Hero. What is Hero? I know, but it's a mutation of the zone. Now let's check the plants now. Also ordered by amount. Vavutum, Vavulix, and then Uvosia. This is an interesting... This has no flowers, though. It's kind of interesting, but I, I like it. I'm very disappointed by my predators who are literally doing nothing. Like, how dare you? Okay, we'll, we'll do another set. I'm, I don't want to create like new species. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay. It looked from the distance like it had like a big sort of like, I don't know, like a bag almost that was glowing, but it just looked that way from the distance. Also, I loved how the flowers fall over to the front when they're done. We should also like look at the temperature. And see like yeah, so they're all kind of in the in the range of like minus two and plus thirty-eight degrees. And when it comes to wind strength, it's actually kind of Yeah, it's like an okay wind strength, nothing too crazy. But also look here at like the species and its health. I don't think I can see that much with that, so just gonna put it away. Let's jump let's jump another set of ears. Try it one more time. See what happens. See where am I? Ooh. Okay, so a lot of people seem to have died out. Actually, no, they're just kind of hidden on this side. What is this? Oh, double set of eyes. They have double set of eyes. So look at that. Oh my god. Isn't that beautiful? 
And they only have one set of likes now. Oh my god, you're not my new favorite thing. Hello. It's just so epic. I love it. Double one set of views, double set of eyes, and only one set of likes. I guess they don't need more likes. If you think about it. Those look kind of amazing. Love it. Also, this guy? No, he's not. He's not that special, okay. But that one was really cool. I hope that species survives. Still that one teals in here. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, 1,023 years old species. Oh, look at it all glowing in the dark. And my predators, as always, are dead. I'm gonna have to make another set of predators because they're just like really bad at surviving. Yeah. Ooh, but these guys are white. That's also interesting. And they actually changed their mouth here. That's also interesting to try to kind of eat the plants that they've got available. Let me try to make one quick, quick predator because the one that we had is just like completely useless. I want to see how big I can make this. What's the biggest, biggest thing I can make? Because I think when you're in a predator, being big is useful. So let's try to just make something really 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 big it's like a big blob <laughs> maybe no, we're gonna have to face it probably as well like something that allows you to go low noise while walking this yeah we'll put it here we're we gonna give you a lot of legs because you're big so it's probably gonna be difficult for you to move as many legs as we can Oh my god, this looks so weird. Eyes? How many eyes? Put eyes in the front. Then we're gonna give you like a big, big mouth. Oh, this seems almost like too tiny of a mouth for this animal, but we'll do it. And then we'll also give you a set of ears. Yeah, here, why not? And maybe another set of ears on top. Uh, we're not gonna make you glow this time. Just gonna be like a normal, normal big blob of an animal. Let's go with ready. I'm so curious about this one. <laughs> so imagine the scientist discovers this and was like, it's just like a big blob. Oh my god, it's so big. But we'll place four of those all over the place. And as usual, we'll jump ahead and see what happens. I'm not sure, but I think it's it the mo um does the calculation easier if you kind of zoom in so that you don't have to see like everything. Our big blobs are dead. Ah, oh, come on. What is, what what is this? Oh, just like a normal Zalo. What happened to my big blob? Also, my my four eyed Zalo. I was kind of hoping to survive, but these flowers are so beautiful. I'm gonna look at the settings here, but obviously I don't see any big blobs, so... Presumably... Yeah, my big blobs are... The other one, Telson, is still here. But we really just have the Zolos. Everybody else is just like one... One or two people. But my big blobs... Alright, one, one, last attempt, okay? I'm gonna place these big blobs. Also, do we have... To, okay, one more thing. Uh, I want to place these... Uh, so you can, what you can do is you can kind of click off the plants, go to the amount, and then you can set up your favorite species of animals. Oh, these guys don't have eyes. That's interesting. I want to find, first of all, the four-eyed... First, let's do the blobs. Penver. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you can't survive with ten, then, like, you're a waste of a species. And you don't deserve to live. I also want to try to find the four-eyed... Do we not have them anymore? I wanted the four-eyed... Oh, we don't have them anymore. Okay. Four-eyed Zolo. He, he didn't survive long enough for it to start a new species, I guess. But I, was, I was really hoping they would because I, I would love to see more of those. They were so pretty. Oh! Okay, first of all, I see one big blob. I also see a big change in the flowers. The blob looks just like it did originally, but... These milky have an extinct because there's not enough space to grow. Don't forget you can exterminate the species to make space. And a lot of the flowers have moved here into an area that's, I guess... 
really windy or really cold oh it's really warm so it's like 50 degrees so that's why the other flowers are kind of trying to not move in this area but but these guys are surviving also the flowers look really pretty i like it they look a bit different than what we had but they're quite nice what are you called laiba very nice so these are flowers that can survive like essentially in the desert like in super Warm temperatures. Yeah, most of the Zolos are kind of sticking here with the original flowers. Ooh, what is this though? Ooh, yellow flowers. Yellow olive. And we only had that one blob, right? Seems like there's a baby over there. Yeah, just that one blob somewhere here that's probably dead by now. I don't see it anymore. Zolos can survive everything, apparently. I hope their name is Zolos, right? Vumasis. Okay. That's that's the flower, not the animal I wanted to check, but okay. Verpert. Alright, alright. Could also I think like change the temperature. And set so this like we for example we want to increase the temperature by let's say 20 degrees. Seems like our animals like just around. What's the temperature now, by the way? Yeah, it's like 70 degrees over there. It's like insane. Let's keep doing that. Let's see how much. Let's do plus 40. Plus 42. Yeah. Pretty rough for our... It's like 50 degrees here. Almost 91 degrees over there. I don't think our Zolos are going to survive that for much longer. They're holding on for now, but I guess it's really rough. 52. Yeah, almost all the flowers that were over there are just like gone. And we're losing like the majority of flowers. It means we're gonna lose a lot of Zolos very soon as well because they just can't survive here. Yeah, all, no more, very little flowers here. I think the flowers gonna move down here because down here the temperature is okay. But they don't have the time because we increased the, the temperature so quickly. They do not have time to grow as quickly. But, but these guys are surviving. What is their like ideal temperature that they can survive in? It doesn't actually say. I think it says so elsewhere. Not here, but yeah. Interesting. Yeah, and all, all of the solo are like, where did all our flowers go? <laughs> I gotta move over here. But it is growing. Let, let's jump uh, 300 years and see if, if, if it survives or not with the 42 degrees increase. Oh yeah, okay. So essentially it all survived, it just all kind of moved here. It's still like okay temperature because here we've got like 67 but here it's still like 20 so it's kind of fine. It's just kind of moved down to a colder degree. All right, so this is the sapling. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down the comments and you can click on the right to watch my previous episode of this game. I'll see you there. Bye bye.